Right then, welcome back to Heads Gone. Stephen Alson, Ashley Williams. We've had like a what three, four week hiatus, so I'm, 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 I know I've got loads to talk about. What about Me you? too. Yeah, loads. Loads of proper intriguing shit. Things and that. Um, let's start with how's Eric Dyer. Let's start with football, and then we'll get weird. Why is Eric Dyer going by Munich? Because uh, um, his mates there. Is this is the easy answer to that? Is Harry? I know Harry Kane's doing well. I think that's probably an understatement, isn't it? He's done all right, hasn't he? What? What you going? Finish the question, because it's going to be an obvious answer. At what stage are they like? Let's just sign him a mate. The, he doesn't need uh, any mates. Uh, Look at he's flying. Yeah, but he probably prefers one, and they are tight, aren't they? Them two. I don't know. Yeah, they're mates. So he just gone bring me mate, and they've gone all right. As it's that simple. There's Have not, you ever been at a club no, where someone's brought a mate? Uh, no. But yeah, that's, it's, it's just that there's no, not one person at Bayern Munich that's gone, oh, we need a centre half scouting system. Who's on it? Eric Dyer. Well, there's some talk that they're actually trying to sign Kevin Danso, who's actually sick. So if but they who, sign who, Kevin. Who they got? Upa Makano, Kim Lee, and Jay. And Kim. So there's no place for Eric at all. There's no, case for, uh, no place for Kevin Dunn, so he's I'm, actually good. I'm pretty sure Harry Kane and Eric Dyer, like the whole, the families are friends and everything. So right. it's just took his mate. It's that, it's that straightforward. People keep going, how's he moved? Because Harry Kane said, can you go and get Eric Dyer? And they went, okay, cool. That's it. He'll play a couple of games for you if you need it. No more, no less. What a lottery win for Eric Dyer. He's been, he'll play in the Carabao. even registering. He'll play in the Carabao, their version. That's it, done. Did, did Spurs even register him? Does anyone know? Like, because he's not played, has he, this year? I don't think. He has played. Has he? Yeah, he has played, yeah. So I've worked on the game where he was playing, but uh, that game where they lost to Wolves. Remember that? Uh, um, that's just the end of it. He's just Harry, it's Harry Kane's mate. He's brought his mate. He's got that much pull that he can do that. I mean, if you're like... Oh, I don't know. Like, if you've played three games yourself, you can't be asking for mates. But when you're tearing it up, you just and you're you're breaking from, records. You're from a different breaking country. Breaking records at Real Madrid, uh, sorry, even Bayern Munich, is pretty hard to do. Yeah, and he's from a different country. He wants, he wants his mate there. And that's just it. Well done, him. Really, a little well bit done. like uh, Thomas Tuchel taking Chupa Moting. Or do you remember? Um, do you remember what was the fucking manager called? Uh, the um, there used to be a player. That, oh, I'm gonna oh, fuck it. I'll get it up for you. There used to be a, a manager who used to take the player everywhere with him. And oh, it's Jose man- Mourinho and Matic. Not him, but that <laughs> also happened. It was a lower league one. You might not know him. I'm sure his name was Junior something. Someone tell me if you, if you remember it, if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's not... Absolute it's, blanks there's behind the camera, by the way. It's not... Uh, there are managers Junior that Junior Lewis, do that's his name. There are managers that do like favourites, so who was his best friend then? Who was taking him around? Oh, he had a manager, I'm trying to think now. Uh, fuck knows. But anyway, that's what happened. Peter Taylor. Uh, Remember him? Yeah. England Peter manager Taylor, for about yeah. half an hour, wasn't he? He signed him like seven times, Junior Lewis. Give David Beckham the England captaincy. Controversial at the time. So I knew you'd know loads of weird shit about it once I brought <laughs> it up, but I just got to get there, didn't I? Um, well, was that? that was about 2000 ish. He was England manager for like five minutes. Better than Peter Taylor? Yeah. I was going to say England manager, then I thought, was he? Was he well, he, I think he was interim in between. Longer than Sam Allardyce. Did he get it? He might have been, actually. Did he get it because Glenn Hoddle said some offensive shit and got sacked? And it was like, right, let's oh, let's go into that. Him. What did Glenn Hoddle say? Because I was thinking about this the other day. What, what, you what forgot. Was, yeah. So he said... What was it all about? Was it about that, like, uh, mystic woman? No, that was just a bit of a weird entree at the side. Okay. It was the the main course was disabled people. I'm gonna just phrase this so no one goes. I can't believe Steve just said that. He said disabled people are paying for their sins in a past life. <laughs> what in an interview or something? As England manager. In an interview. Yeah. Or was he overheard? I think it was with mate? Matt Dickinson. Of the, was it the Times, Telegraph? That's a good wild. newspaper. Like, so Matt's like. <laughs> what? Anyway, and then is, that, are you, is he factually correct with that? Yeah, you Google it. I don't remember it being that wild. And then I don't know if the FA immediately sacked him, but he wasn't England manager for much longer after that. And so where did the the? Uh, and I think that's where, where did Peter Taylor come into it. 
she was just. I think getting, it was like getting someone in to do like horoscopes and shit or something. No, she was a so she was a faith healer. She's like, so I see you broke your tip and your fib. She's gonna let's do three Hail Marys and see if it's better. She's gonna just. I, I don't know. I don't, honestly, I don't know. I. I it, it got ridiculed. Do you by know what the thing is? I've worked with him and he seems completely normal. What we, you're telling me sounds bad. We had, him, we had crazy. him downstairs, and I, I think he's a he's a genuine football mind. Like he's a yeah, fucking brilliant. serious football mind, and I I really enjoyed his company. But his views on disabled people, not, re wild, not really cricket, man. I'm going to be honest. And saying it like that yeah. in an interview. Let me just throw this one out there. Wow. Hmm. How do we get from there to there? Where do we get from Peter Eric Dyer to Glenn Hoddle? Peter okay, Taylor. that's the link. I think it is, yeah. So, so bring it back to Eric Dyer. What a fucking move. If you've got good friends, I'd never get that move without no friends. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you, have you ever... So, I know you've never got a friend into a club. Have you ever gone like, have you ever been at a club where there's been a need and you've gone, oh, my mate could do that job? Wow. <laughs> Not ever far. Dude, what friends? I'm a little bit like, there's, there's probably 10 players that I still speak to. And all the others, if I see them, they're cool and get on straight away. But when I leave the club, it's a little bit like, <laughs> oh, I'll see you when we play against you or whatever. So I know you're actual mates with Rio. I don't think you was ever in a position where you were like, we bring get Rio. Rio. <laughs> <laughs> bring Rio, what, take me spot? <laughs> play next to me? Swansea. I'm trying to think, so where was you 2014 when he went QPR? Swansea. Right. Beat him. That was when he was on the way down, though, wasn't it? He, he, basically, he basically retired leaving United. Hmm. He yeah, might as well not bother playing for QPR. Bit, yeah, but it is what it is, isn't it? Everybody does, well, a lot of people do that. You want to just play a little bit longer for whatever reason. But who does that? Who t who, who's got a friend that they like that much that they want to bring them with them? Like, like the, what, what I'm saying is, is there's got to be some proper... Did you never see, like, proper super best friends in the changing room? Yeah, and I thought it was weird. <laughs> Did you not? Like, I, I, I'd class you as a friend, someone that I like to spend time with. And we've probably, since I saw you last, well, we spoke quite a bit, but it's normally we just send a weird fucking, you're sending me a weird video on X. Yeah, oh. We I don't, I've not, one time have I ever messaged you and said, like, how, hi, Steve, how are you? <laughs> no. well, even when you told me you had man flu, I couldn't give a fuck. No, I send you, did you see the video of the guy that goes to try and jump over, like, the thing and just face plants in the wall? I enjoyed that one. No, but you, you send me times. a lot of shit, a lot, a lot of shit. It was good, that. I so know. I have to cut through a lot of the stuff you send me. Like the last thing you sent me, it's still sitting there. Stoic events. Yeah, well, you send me a lot though. It's a lot. I, it can I, be, I it can be you overwhelming. Else. Last night, which you read and pied. Did you? Yeah. You, 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 can, you can be overwhelming. I'm with it, all about let's go and do adventurous shit because I get bored as a mofo just doing. The, the... Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's fine. Yeah. Right. So, so I sent you, found something that's warm. It's in Morocco, which is warm generally. I trumped it. I wanted to send you something back, but you didn't. You didn't even reply. I couldn't be. So hard. are you up for that? Yeah, I did that. All right, sweet. What about this one? I I've been looking at that one. I know a guy that's just done that. I, I know How two do guys that done it. Marathon. Marathon de Sable. Des Sables. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All, all that. Yeah. That's so, also Morocco. Yep. Yeah. And it's wild. I think that is, is that 360 kilometers? You do that in a pair of clocks. Show me your Christmas present then. That I oh yeah, do you wanna, can we have uh, a, one of our assistants, please? So, for those who don't know. Wow, that's wild. I didn't know we actually had assistants for that. Well, you called out for them and they, here they are. Didn't want to get, the assistants didn't want to get on camera. Did you see yeah, that? saw that. So, Happy Christmas. <laughs> thank you very much. Stephen. So, I got asked the, uh, the black set, and I was like, quite like them. They fucked it up, didn't you, massively? Yeah. And then I was like, I'm probably going to go and get myself the white ones. And Ash went, don't bother, because I've got them here. And boom, here we are. So thank you very much, our kid. I've still not heard of Clark's yet, have you? No. I'm sure, I'm sure they're... I'm sure it's, it's wrote a letter, Christmas stand down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's one of those. We will Definitely, hear like, you know, we're here showing you your collaborations, limited editions. He's wearing Clark's, I'm wearing Clark's. Well, I ain't got Clark's on that, but anyway. But you know what but I mean? I am wearing We're here supporting the brand, not getting on the phone. It's all right. Look, you send me a lot Raheem of shit, Sterling man. can get on the phone, I guess. 
<laughs> Raheem Sterling, he came up at work the other day. Uh, would, you agree, would you agree that Raheem Sterling is like a good player first? Because I know you're a bit wild with it. Um, no, okay. Do you agree that he's had a great career? Yes. Okay. So what we were just saying, what's a bigger mystery? The tunnels, uh, the pyramids in Egypt. Tunnel. <laughs> the pyramids in Egypt. Pause. <laughs> the pyramids in Egypt. Right. Or the fact that Raheem Sterling is genuinely good and had a good career and cannot strike a fucking football still. <laughs> like what, what a weird thing. I'm glad you acknowledged that. But I'm not, I'm not taking nothing away from him because I think he's, he's fucking very good. But why can he still not kick a football like everyone else that's professional? Why does he hook everything? <laughs> I, I want to is... get it out there. I think he's a very good player. I'm not, I'm not dissing him. I'm just saying. I think he's finishing shite, right? But what I have recently begun to sort of realise or acknowledge is the ability to get into places to miss a shot is as good a skill as just being deadly with a finishing. Like, you might be absolutely deadly with a finishing, but if that ball don't come to you, then you know, you're having one shot a game. If Raheem Sterling's able to get five, six, seven shots a game because of his movement, because of his intelligence to see the gaps, because of you know, his ability to just find that space, yeah, that is a skill. Yeah, because he's very good. This is what my point is. He's very good. But, but why have you been in the game he's at the top level for so long? He's a little bit wild, three of the it? best clubs in the country. And like, if you went and um, put a 10 by 10 uh, square down 50 yards away, drop it in there, he wouldn't do it. Hmm. He'd get like one out of 10 or something. Yeah, he's it's bizarre, isn't it? But he's so good. He's actually so good. It's, it's one of them, he's so, so difficult to play against. Is he effective? So he might lose the ball a lot. He might have a lot more shots than you want. But is he going to generate his own chances that cover up for the fact but that we, he's not deadly? Do you remember deadly? when he scored all them goals? That he had a, was it? What like two seasons where he scored loads, or was it just one? I think it was two Throw at City where he where he just yeah we got thirty goals plus. Is it yeah, back that's to back? wild though for someone that like can't really strike it. But anyway, we was in match of the day having this conversation and then he scored a free kick, a world deal as well, which he kind of, I think he aimed for the centre of the goal and hooked. <laughs> but, what a weird thing though, isn't it? Like Raheem Sterling. But I, I'm, I'm beginning to respect more the ability to get on the end of stuff as well as the ability to just be a pure dead eye. Yeah, yeah I'm not. Because Anthony Marshall's a pure dead eye. He ain't getting on the end of everything. No, he's not going to create as much as Raheem Sterling yeah, would for himself. I, I have to make the argument clear that I think he's fucking really good. He's an unbelievable career. But I just find it bizarre that like, he's still I, I not mastered striking the ball. I would argue his career and his resume and his trophy haul almost doesn't stack up to what his ability is seen as. No, but, he, but he, there's more to the game than just the striking. It's just the striking of the ball that, that it puzzles me. Like, why can't he strike it? As a striker? Just strike the ball, man. Pure. He's a laces. Get him in doing a bit of one-to-one -one with someone. Wait, but surely someone has done loads of them. You'd think, wouldn't you? And he's still, he's still scratchy with it. Is it, is it, it. mental? Oh, fuck knows. I he, can strike does it. He, I don't does know. he just get into those places and think he's got less time than he does? So he just I don't know, man. But scuffs it? This, this, I don't know. I just think it's just a, such a puzzle. Mm. Being that so good. I've called him shit, which sometimes you do just because it's the, it's Why the, would you the one line to Why throw out. Why would you ask that? Because he's, because he takes so many chances and he gets so many chances. He's not shit. But Take I've, it back. I, well, I have. I've, I've okay. revised my thing and I've put in more respect on Take the ability and to and create put more chances. respect on Steven Gerrard as well. While we're I'm not doing that. Okay. So not New Year, New Year. No, um, Joe in there. It might have been Jay. One of the one of them lot in there anyway said something which was in that little era of Liverpool. You can make a case that Joe no, is actually the worst midfielder out of them. Mascherano, Alonso. <laughs> yeah, well, stop now. Stop. Stop now. So a bad career, isn't it? Okay, but they're, they're not your words. They're someone else's, okay? I, I don't want you to say that. All right, but I don't disagree with them. I mean, it's just facts. They're bad careers, isn't it? We'll cut that bit out. <laughs> we'll cut that bit out. Because you're not going to get no respect after that comment. Uh, the, do you know what? The people that were... No, they know. No Liverpool fans knows don't like that. me. And guess what? I don't care. It's not care. about Liverpool fans. It's just about actual people that watch football. I have not one person going to agree. Herbert on social media this week telling me that Kobe Maynou can't pass a football. I'm like, right, 
There's probably lots he can't do, but pass off football is certainly. What, why did they base that uh, argument on? He reckons he's watched him loads, and I was like, okay, sound R- wrong. Like you, you, people say, you can't have a wrong opinion. It's just an opinion. Well, that was a wrong opinion. And that, that, that's how I feel about yours with with uh, that's fine. Steve, Stevie. There's a lot to call him. <laughs> did you make a New Year's resolution? I set some goals. Do you, want to sh- do you want to share them with the audience or not really? Not really. You keep them in house. No, I mean there's. No, it's more stuff that I want to go do. Would you not do that uh, mid-year set goals? What do you mean? Like, is it a resolution? Like, it's 2024. I want to set these goals, or would you? Are you a goal-setting person anyway? No, I, quite, I set the goals quite a bit. Usually. That's what I mean. So it's got fuck all to do with the new year. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. What about you? Any resolutions? Nah. Sound? Any goals? Nah. That's far too much like fucking planning, isn't it? Yeah, I can give a fuck. Just see how it goes. I don't know what's happening tomorrow, I told you. <laughs> you you're trying to get something planned for March and it's doing me tits in. <laughs> I'm just going to plan it and if you show up sound, if you don't, you don't. I mean, you. what's happening in March, you are the draw. I mean, elsewhere, like this way in Manchester, it might be 50-50, but what we're doing in March, literally... Not a single one person is coming for me. Not one. Like, okay. not even a random weirdo. Not one. So, but why do we have let's to plan so much shit out. And also, how did you get through this week without asking me if we're filming today? Because I've been waiting for that. Have you? Yeah, and you've not asked. I just assumed. Did you plan it in anyway? Just assumed. That we were? Yeah. Okay. So you still got OCD. Right. Cut this part out. I'm back in the room. He just had a wild rant that he couldn't say um, <laughs> on air. I'm not wrong, Norma. Um, in case you don't cut it out, I've um, got no comment on it. Right, fine. But if you do cut it out, then I know you're not wrong. <laughs> you just have to get that off your chest, didn't you? Really badly. Anyway, okay. what else? Um, so you've got no do... goals, you've got no resolutions. Yeah, 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 no, don't do all that shit. Don't do that shit. Uh, what we... else am I doing in March? Hiking, no, cooking, yeah. there driving else. a Land Rover, there was places. Some, there was something else as well. Planning, more planning Giving for like... Something. What? Giving up something for Lent. Oh, Janine's on about, am I going to give up something for Lent? She's trying oh, to get give up Rebel for Lent. It feels religious What's and then the that point? feels oppressive and now I don't want to do it. Why, why is he going to do that? He likes Red Bull. Do you like Red Bull? I like Red Bull. He likes Red Bull. What are you going to give him up for? Thinking of his teeth. Oh, get some new ones. I don't ever do that again. We've got <laughs> shit. We've got, <laughs> I got a turkey. I think Rio knows a guy. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, you what? can't. Uh, he shared what? it on his socials. Everyone knows. <laughs> what I liked about that whole thing is it's such an awkward moment in the group chat, and you did. It wasn't awkward for you. <laughs> Jesus, voice knowing Ash. Where's that air job? <laughs> and I went in the room, but I felt awkward about it. Just at home. Everyone else, just no one, no comment. Joe, you know why? Because you're all shitbags. Would be a better headline than the one we was thinking of, wouldn't it? Which one? Steve and Ash react to to Rio's <laughs> hair transplant. <laughs> That'd be a, an hour. We could do an hour on that. Joe, you know he's not an hair transplant. He's had like a fucking bit filled in, and it like it's just. I don't know what he had done. I don't know. Yeah, they show you on the socials what so he's had done. I don't done. know something. Wild, anyway. That's one of the wildest things. That happened last year, <laughs> for me, is Melon. What's funny is Rio, Rio was saying to me, uh, he goes, he showed me a picture of himself, which is, he's booted up, he's got sunglasses on, but he's fucking six foot three, right? Rio Ferdinand looks like Rio Ferdinand. Rio Ferdinand wearing sunglasses and a booty looks like Rio Ferdinand wearing sunglasses and a booty. There ain't any other guy in the world that that is trying to sneak on a plane on the way back from Turkey. Where Did the entire get, plane's got like bandages on. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like you showed me the picture of what he looked like in the airport, and I thought, oh my god. What was your reaction? You didn't laugh, did you? Yeah, of course Did I laughed. Yeah. <laughs> Did not play along, girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I'm a shitbag, and I went, I can't believe people would notice even <laughs> 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 He just looks like Rio. Like, he couldn't... You can't disguise him in uh, any way, shape, or form, can you? Because he's so big. Uh, 
Imagine me standing there, everyone just like... You know what's funny about that? Cheedles all over Because now we can talk about it. You, outside the group chat, when all the normal... that We was talking, people were sending in like, oh, look at this, what happened here, and this, that. And you just kept messing with me at least three times in those like few days going, are we just going to fucking ignore the fact that Rio's got a new barnet? And I was like, apparently, yeah, we are. It's, you couldn't get your head around it, could you? <laughs> yeah. That don't matter. Right, back to the Red Bull and the teeth. He can get a new set of teeth if he likes Red Bull. He's not going to yeah. quit. Real knows a gaff in Turkey. Ah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> if you come with some big pearly whites, I'll fucking crack up, man. Do you know what? Like, uh, my mate Brendan, the MMA fighter, he came with something and he fucking couldn't speak for six months. It was hilarious. Because he had new teeth? Yeah. I'm not about that. Who gives a fuck? See if I just uh, do it, do it, whatever. I got to think zombie apocalypse at some point, though, and I'm thinking, you know an English uh, dentist won't touch you if you've had turkey teeth done? Yeah, where are you going with it? Well, have you seen what they do? No, but where are you going with the apocalypse? Because in the apocalypse, you're not going to go dentist, are you? Well, no. But have you seen what happens to your teeth? What? They file your teeth down to tiny little, oh, little stubs, little yeah, stubs yeah. Alan which stubs. looks bonkers, by yeah, the way. But where's the apocalypse coming? Well, what happens when you're just trying to, you know, chew a little bit of bark or something like that during the apocalypse? One of your big falsies goes, bing, flying off. I think that's the least of your worries at that point. No, I've got to think I about think that. Like a, a stub too. Because what you're going to do, eat with your little fucking shark teeth. <laughs> like... Mush? Yeah, so... You gotta think. Are you saying not going turkey and get me cheetos done because of zombies? If times are that bad that I'm eating bark, mm. I'm gonna be worried about my false teeth popping off. No, I'm not worried about my false teeth popping off. I'm worried about them breaking and me not being able to eat because they were false. Because, like you just said, ain't no dentist mooching about. Dentists are the first ones to go in the zombie apocalypse. Why? I don't know. Sounds You're saying that they, they can't. Good, isn't it? You're saying they're, 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 they're not survivors. Yeah. You don't think? Well, maybe they wouldn't. Maybe they'd survive because they've got a quite useful skill, haven't they? Two foot. Come see old Fred. Nah, Fred the tough. Gone. <clears throat> gone. Uh, I'm listening to a book at the moment about Area 51 by Annie Jacobson, who's done some really I, good. So, so you send me a, a bunch of bullshit every day, but you didn't send me this book, which you know I'd enjoy. Was I you started, checking it first? I started it at like 10 o'clock last night. Okay, well, that doesn't mean that you wouldn't fire that straight across at any point in the evening. Well, I'm still getting to grips with it, but it's got some real interesting parts of it. So, the reason why the CIA are involved with Area 51 is because they wanted to spy on Russia using that U-2, which I think became the Blackbird, I think, supersonic fella. And they wanted them to be dressed as civilians rather than, like, US Air Force if they ever got caught and fucked it. Because obviously the Iron Curtain went up, didn't it? But he went, but he don't have an iron roof, so we'll just spy plane over the top of the bastard. <clears throat> so that was why they had, um, CIA were operating that entire program and it was well off the books. And they still not declassified some of the stuff about it. They declassified just parts of it and I think it eventually became part it's of It's never gonna get declassified all of it, is it? No, but it's, it's really interesting listening to um, the creation of all of that lot, and then through what happened at Roswell, and like, I think I'm up to about 1955 in there at the moment with stuff, where they're talking about the US government were terrified of misinformation from Russia, and the, the UFO sightings were fucking sending their heads west, because you can't ignore them, because they could be, they could be real, they could also be Russian spy craft, and you, you can't just go, it's a load of bollocks, because you, they, you don't know what people are building, especially because of the Russians had their own version of Operation Paperclip where they took all the Nazi scientists and stuff. So they were doing mad shit over there that they didn't know about because it was so hard to, to find out. So they, they, had, um, they had a campaign in the 50s, which run for about four years, I think they were talking about, where they tried to educate the American people on... So they would pull up, like, a UFO case file and then they would explain the truth behind it. And they were doing this on TV and in, like, so magazines. So it was disinformation? Like that. No, that was... There was, was actually explaining 
like this one that you so saw. It wasn't a UFO, that it would be an actual. Yeah, they'd, they'd be able to identify what it was. Yeah, so there's, there are some things that they, they go out, we don't know what it is. But because they were trying not to create like panic and this, that, and the other, they were kind of like ignoring Let's those. Let's say it's swamp gas. Yeah, and Let's they were going. Let's say it's swamp gas when it <clears throat> clearly isn't. So, right. don't, so you don't panic. Yeah, and they're, but they're pulling up stuff that they can explain and then explaining it. And then they said the, the, the increase in UFO sort of reporting. So I think they tried to put the, the CIA as the investigative body on all of the UFO reports. The CIA went like, yeah, right, there's a lot of bollocks. And they gave it to the Air Force, and the Air Force had to employ thousands of people to sift through the amount of lunatic fucking uh, fingers that they were getting. Yeah, it's but a lot of them were that U two spy plane. Yeah, but the, the crazy thing <clears> is, is there's that many, there's, there's that many reports all the time, and then now we've got we're at this place where it's it's kind of the first time ever it's been all right to talk about it about being ridiculed. In an actual is, yeah. formal place, or on mainstream television in America or whatever, uh, and there's that much on like YouTube and whatever. That my fear is now when I see something, I'm like, uh, no, I don't know because, like, say for example, when they, when the Washington Post and New York Times released the actual footage, and they went, we don't really know what this is. Yeah, but then like, as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, <clears> why, <throat> why would you do that then? What's your play? What's your angle? And you ain't got an answer for it. I do I believe you now? Like, I feel like we're at the, in, in 2024, if you believe what they say, they being government slash media, which I'm part of, but whatever. Like, you're a bit of a knob, aren't you? You can't really just take their word for it. Who does that in this day and age? Unless you're like our parents' generation, they probably still go for it. I think history has proven time and time again that the British government's done it, the American government is fucking bang at it. You're seeing it with, with Russia and Israel. There's information and disinformation campaigns on the go on all sides of all of those conflicts from, from everybody. You know, there's, unfortunately, there's, there's you know, Pollywood, Pollywood, the, you know, some Palestinian actor stuff, but there's also some complete and utter bollocks coming out from the Israeli side as well. It's really difficult unless you're spending all day watching that to sift through what's real and what's false from, from both sides. Imagine that in the 50s. Um, when they released War of the Worlds, was that in the 50s? And some people oh. thought that was a real yeah, fucking news real, report. Didn't it? Yeah, um, and it On the radio or something. Yeah. yeah. And they thought it was happening. But that's what I mean, like, you could, you could probably... You, this is how I would find out that a UFO is it in, landed in Manchester. Twitter. From you. Because <laughs> I don't have Twitter, but you are my news source for it. So you'd send me a thing going... Fuck me, look at this. It's landed on Harvey Nicks, <laughs> the roof, right? Wow. Now, I don't know if that's, that's real or bullshit. That's where we're at. So, I don't know. CGI is that good as well? Like, a video actually doesn't cut it? Nah, I've got to probably drive down to Harvey Nicks and see it myself. And even then, I'm going to think, I don't know, because... It, that is there a film ago? coming out? What about... <laughs> it's exactly. Just, uh, remember when they put Tupac on the stage? Yeah. Looked like him. But if you just glanced over that... That was 10, 12 years ago. It, it, like, I don't know. I could see the UFO on top of Ivan Nix and still go, I'm not, still not sure. Like, basically, one of the little bastards got to come out and slap me in my face for me to think there's an actual alien. But then again, I, don't, I do think there are. Who knows? It's just an interesting topic. It's an interesting topic because... There is no definitive proof. It's one of those, it? like, you can't say there definitely hasn't been, because you can't say that. You haven't been everywhere all at once. And you can't say there definitely won't be. And I think the, the fact that there's... There's fucking paintings from the 1700s where there's... I can't remember the name. It's something wheel, where there's something yeah. in the fucking sky on fire, because I guess that was their reference point of it and stuff. Yeah, like, it's, just, it's a bit too much <clears> for me to not... Uh, kind of believe it. That Mayan thing, totally unexplained, where it looks like a guy in a fucking spaceship. Yeah. With a little space suit on. Yeah. There's like, a lot. Sat like you would sit in a fucking spaceship. Yeah, I don't... I don't there's too much to, to be unexplained. But then, is that... To be explained. Sorry. Mayan version of Harry Potter? Because if someone finds Harry Potter in 2,000 years and go, oh, they used to use twigs... It's a valid point. ...with magic. It's a valid point, isn't it? Because it doesn't say anywhere, you, this is a load of bollocks. But how do you know that they don't somewhere use twigs? magic. Well, well, like, it could have been Eileen Drury. Yeah, I'm going to say I 
don't think that's happening, but I get it. But wilder shit's happen. And this is why you end up with the ancient aliens thing, where the guy goes, is nah, it possible nah, 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 I that don't... actually Harry Potter is real and he actually looks like You Daniel can say Rackers. a lot of shit, but don't disrespect ancient aliens. <laughs> Put respect on that. And also, so you, was you not going for the black alligator type alien video that I sent you? I don't remember that one. You have, because you said fake. Don't remember that. The scroll through the bastion of shit that you've sent me. <laughs> Paul Scholes there to Jesse Lingard that tickled me. <laughs> um, that one, remember it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not having that. No. I reckon with an afternoon on After Do you effects, want me to tell you what was... I could probably make some look better Allegedly, eight foot to ten foot alien creatures were spotted in a Miami mall, and this is the only footage taken of the creatures. Yeah. The, the way I know it's a load of bollocks, straight off the bat, is Go that on. little static thing over it, like, that? like a bad Hollywood no. film. Press play. Uh, what? How do I... What? Do something. That. That... <laughs> Yeah, like we're watching fucking... Um, yeah, what, it's, what it's in my first video After Effects fucking package. Blair Witch Project. Straight off the bat, that's But do you know what bollocks. was weird about that is you'd sent me, I was on holiday, and you sent me the uh, the long line of police cars in Miami. By the way, that's more police than in the entire UK, isn't it? Some shit went down there. So we don't know whether it was aliens, some well, shit, or they whatever. They said kids had a riot. Four kids they arrested, that, that they had a fight. So that and was they what they said. 700 police cars for it. Yeah. That was six stars on GTA. For a fight, not having it. When are we gonna find? When are we gonna get that documentary? Of what really happened? Oh, <clears throat> uh, about twenty years. See, I think now that like the little CIA misinformation campaigns will go fuck. Something happened. Throw aliens all over it. So now everyone's so everyone going. Goes, yeah. Aliens are in Miami. If I was an alien, I'd get the fuck to Miami as well. To be honest, like if I'm gonna land, I'm gonna land on South Beach. This is. Do you know what I mean? So uh, it's Miami's believable. got a Vegas vibe to me. But as an alien, I'm thinking... It's a good I fucking might, city, mate. I might so. go Miami. To go, yeah. Well, you're going to go somewhere. It's better than believing they land like in fucking, I don't know. Oldham. In the- imagine. Imagine you'd travel 147 light years. And where are and you? you? landed on Boundary Park. Fucking diggle. Yeah, be shit. A glodic. But everyone is talking about the aliens in Miami. And I seen nothing really I saw some lights but like, in if Miami. there was a riot in a mall there would be 47,000 TikToks with kids just going fucking whatever be the new that, version of also, World Star also if there was aliens in the mall they'd also be the same footage or they've wiped the phones which we know they're capable of who aliens are the no. three letter agencies yeah them but what happened in Miami then, then? so then someone tell me what happened there was then. that and then they said it was a terrorist attack with no attack. So what happened in Miami? Got Beckham's number. No. You got messes. Call him in, Mona. Hola. He never answers. <laughs> <laughs> Just send him the video now. The Miami more. See what he says. Say what go on. So we so we ain't got no confirmation of aliens in Miami. Um, I was watching a programme about Phoenix there, there was the ones Have you ever seen the Phoenix Wait, there was, one? there was one in Brazil, right, which Peter Crouch just claimed credit for, yeah. which was a great I'm not that one away. either. No, because I can almost see the fucking people... But this, they're doing it there. again. They're doing it again where they make it stupid. They make it silly, so then you just sound like a twat talking about yeah. it. Whereas, let's be real, you're talking alien and predator type stuff, aren't you? If something's going to happen, what happened is, yeah, 300 people got liquefied in Venezuela by some... Big fucking green thing. No, not necessarily. They might come in peace. Yeah. Ain't got to be Independence Day all the time. But it does. What? Why? Well, they aliens might not be like you. Every single... Like, if you just look at... Hu- all right, and I guess they're not human, so that's different. Yeah. But every single human sort of exploration ended in some sort of conquest and colonialism where the people that were in the original... But what if they don't want to do that? Why have they got here before us anyway? And they're just watching us. So you're saying it's Anunnaki attackers? Well, what if it's one of them angles? There's a lot of angles. To so we're out. actually pets rather what than... What if it's like future humans coming back, trying to travel back to look at oh, us? Oh, to go and see... What, like us how before, we, yeah. Yeah, before we all had, Could like... Could be anything. Could be anything, couldn't the, it? The free shell system out of... Uh, what film was that? Minority Report? Demolition Man? 
was it? Yeah, good, good film. Demolition Man. What do you mean by good film? No, it's like solid. What do you mean by solid? Um, it's Sandra Bullock before she got bearable. No, so it's just a good film. You've missed out two fucking key actors. Yeah, then um, S- Sylvester Stallone and, and Wesley Snipes. Uh, Wesley, Wesley Snipes when he was not mental. He might have been mental still, but... I think he was probably mental by yeah, then. Yeah, he got well. even more mental, I think, afterwards. Uh, Blade fucked him up a lot. What a film Blade was, though. But d- why are you asking, why are you quizzing me on Demolition Man and, and then you're just taking accepting Blade? Sam Elliott's in Blade as well, isn't he? Sam Elliott's a great actor. I don't know who he is. He's the cowboy in every film you've ever seen. There's only one guy seen. in Blade, and that's Wesley Snipes. No, he's the other guy. Whistler, is he called? In that oh, film? yeah, I do remember. Yeah, sorry. He, um, but he's the cowboy in every film you've ever seen. Is he in Ghost Rider as well, as a fucking old cowboy? Who else in Ghost Rider? Eva Mendes. Anyone else? No. What's your issue with it? I don't get it. She's well, an actor. I've got, well, I've got an issue. I haven't got an issue. He's just an actor. I was just looking at Eva Mendes. So you can't tell me who else who headlines Ghost Rider? Drew Barrymore? It's weird that you've got an issue with Nicolas Cage. It's not That's weird. That's really weird. It's not weird. He's a... When you actually it really strip weird. it down it's and so random. review him and go, hang on. You've reviewed Nicolas he's Cage. He's fucking shit. He's in loads of good films, <laughs> but they're not good because of him. Have the Rock. Watched? Oh, Sean Connery. Fucking great performance. Loads oh, of C-list. Oh, I you meant The Rock, the fucking actor? No, not Dwayne The Rock Johnson. you're putting him up there. <clears throat> the no. Rock. Yeah, that's a good film, that. The Rock's a great film. The scene after he's just had the day from hell at work where he nearly gets the VX gas and has his fucking spine break on itself. He goes home, gets in a chair, boshes his legs over the side, gets an acoustic guitar for when his fucking girlfriend comes home. And she's like, how was your day? And he's like, oh, you know, says what happens with the VX gas. Maybe you Shut didn't up, write, you fucking dick. But maybe you didn't write the You're script. straight in the bar, maybe you're you nine didn't... rooms deep, and <laughs> no, you're texting you are. everyone going, no, you, you won't are. fucking believe what happened today. You are, he might not be, but also he didn't write the script and said do all that shit. Right, well, you're a good actor. Who said this? Which actor said this? Oh, it's a fucking... It's a really good actor. He says a good actor has to be a good writer. Nicholas. No, because he was a good actor. Oh. Uh, Denzel. Uh, oh, we get your point anyway. It's the same as you can't remember, like me and Peter Taylor, fine. Um, have you watched the, the Julia Roberts Look, one on Demol- Netflix? Dem- Demolition Man. No, no, it's that, a cartoon. You can, you can enjoy it for it being fun. It's not a cartoon, it's a film. But it's, it's mental. A, and it's a, it's a film. It's so and It's a good one. Song. Have you watched a new film on Netflix with, with Julia Roberts? No. Why not? Because there was like a week where everyone was talking about it. Was it? What film was it? I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> what is it? Ronnie, you know what it is. <clears throat> Leave the world behind. Never heard of it. Watch it then. What's that about? I can't believe you watch that. It's very um, controversial at the minute. Why? Uh, Leave the world behind, so it's like... I actually binned it about three quarters of the way into it. It's pissing me off. <laughs> it's brilliant. But I'm I'm gonna, no, off. I didn't say it was good. I was just saying, like, everyone was talking about it. There's a film about, I don't really know, because didn't, I didn't see the end, but shit starts happening. Signals go down. Planes... Honestly, you're, you're not getting a better review than this, Listen, are you? What happened? Don't know. to Mars. Planes go down. Phones are off. Teslas are crashing into each other. Don't know how it ends, so I can't spoil it for you anyway. <laughs> So it's, it's, it's like, what would happen if or if this actually happened? If electrics went tits what, up. Like right now, is, that what, is that what's happening? What electrics would happen if you just up. seen uh, like on your feed loads of planes have gone down and then the signal goes? I don't know, maybe the lights drop out, the animals start acting weird. I'm going on Tesla's all crash getting outside. some firewood, I guess. Tesla's all crash. Let's be honest, I'm going looting Tesco because like everyone else probably is at that time. We're going to loot it? Yeah. Aisle by aisle, because you've got, you know where yeah, the not, shit yeah, is you that you rules, need. Yeah. <laughs> like, just what you need as well. 12 Red Bull, 12 Red Bull. Just what are you doing? Case. Essential! <laughs> <laughs> meal deal. Get your meal deals in. Like, that, you're, you're the type of guy to do that loot. Everyone else just loots and fucking supermarket sweeps it, and you'll be, like, taking the, what you need. <laughs> In the, in the trolley, all neatly. Do you neatly place? No, no, it's quite random. Do you throw in? No, I don't throw in. I, no, I, I place it in, actually. And do they have to be lined up? They don't have to be, but they do. What's your system for that, then? Do you, do you place it in, and when it's on the... Um, what's the thing called? Conveyor belt. Yeah. Do you put it on the conveyor belt, 
Are you planning ahead on where you want it in your bags for when you go home? Not as much as Janine does, because she really does that, to the point where she puts all of the big boxy shit at the start, but you go, hang on, that, uh, it all ain't going in one bag, is it? So you, you need yeah, your... She gets out, like, four bags there, and then she... she... No, she's all in one, but So then... she's got one every one? Yeah. You can't crush your bread. Yeah, you've, you've, your bread's got to yeah, be the last thing on in the, the top mix. of whatever, that's fair enough. Fair enough. <clears throat> but, yeah, you've got to get yourself a base. So you're, you're not like, like, you're packing some meat. But you're not that organised. Base yourself so you out. You made yourself look really organised with that, <laughs> with the shop. Well, so I'm not thinking bag by bag? You're not thinking ahead at the... At the... Do you know what? I, I mentioned this to Janine the other day, and I'm debating doing it, actually. Next time I go and do shopping, I might not even go for bags. I might go with a laundry basket in the boot of the car, just fucking dosh it all into the trolley, dosh it all through the till, dosh it all back into the trolley, wheel it out to my car, throw it all in the laundry basket and bring it in the house, yeah, rather yeah. than 10 trips. You could do that. I don't think it's that big of a deal, though. Do you, I... There's, do you not get anxiety as she's fucking boop boop in the machine? The, 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 what I get anxiety about at that point is that the, the lady or the man behind the thing is going to talk, try and say hello to me and start a conversation. So I, I just try not to get eye contact at all. I don't want that conversation with that person. And the worst fuckers are the ones that, go, that comment on everything. I mean, Luke said, it's nice that, isn't it? Yeah, my nephew likes that. Fuck off, just put it through. <laughs> we don't need a conversation on every fucking thing. Lovely these, aren't they? Yeah, nice, plant-based, yeah, fucking brilliant. <laughs> Put it through. So I don't try and get that. So all I'm thinking is, get it in the bags and do not speak to me. I haven't got a club card either, before you ask me. <laughs> Nothing like that. <laughs> That's just want to go. Why are we talking about shopping so much on here? Like grocery shopping, food shopping and shit. Well, we were talking about looting. Then you took it to the top. Uh, yeah. Supermarket Street we should bring back as well. Not me and you, even though we're not bringing nothing back, but like, just in our imaginary world. So you haven't watched uh, that film? Tell you what is good. Is Fool it good me one? once. Fool me once. With Michelle Keegan? Yeah, good. I'm, I've got one episode left and I've binged it out in the last Does it have hours. a lot of soldiers in it? Because all I'm seeing is a lot of people kicking off about uniforms and berets and stuff. Well, this is what happened. My missus went, oh, there's something on Netflix you'll probably like. And then like the, the Netflix trailer is like her, her in a uniform or something and then loads of shit getting blown up, nothing, no, there's no more military shit or no more, no one getting blown up or anything. So I was kind of tricked into it, but then it's really good. Well, okay. Filmed in Manchester, cause I keep spotting shit. It's filmed at, uh, what's that gaff called? Where Whelan got Manchester. married? It's filmed there, I think. No, is it, is it Tottingham something or other? Is it in Manchester? No, it's more like Nantwichy area. There's some stuff that's in Manchester. So oh, yeah. But I, see so I liked it, I was recognising stuff. Did you? Normally I don't watch like British shit. Just go full American for the gloss. Oh, I was telling Spence yesterday, did you ever watch Life on Mars? Sounds dead shit. It wasn't Ambient. dead shit, it was fucking... Okay, so next question, what channel John was Sim it on? Was in. It was... I feel like it was a BBC production. Was it shit? BBC Three or something. Shit. <laughs> was, it <factual? laughs> was it factual or fictional? Fictional. Sounds poor, man, I'll be honest. It was so good. So there's a guy who's a cop in, like, 2006. Oh, I don't remember this. Yeah, yeah, I remember John this. John Sim, who's mega. I thought you I thought you had, like, a kids' programme <clears> or something. No, and then he gets run over at the bottom of Mancunian Way, wakes up in, like, 1973, when the Mancunian Way's not built, and then has to, like, live in 1973 for a bit while he's in a coma in real life. Spoiler mm. alert. So you've, you've done a good job of selling that a little bit to me, but I won't go back and watch it. I might but go back and watch because it. Because it's on, like, I just don't, like, Luther. Never watched it. No, I never watched it. But if it was an American version, I'd watch it. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just weird. So I enjoyed that. Fool me once. Are you going to watch AFCON? It's not even on, is it? They're not showing it. There's, I don't know. There's no UK broadcaster has took it, otherwise I would do. Should yeah, because it's wild. Should we have a bet on who wins? I'm taking Morocco. Oh, I was going to say. So then I'll take Senegal then, don't I? Or Egypt. But I'll take Senegal. Has Cote d'Ivoire got a should decent put, team in this one? Uh, nah. But they're at home, I think, aren't they? No, is it in Cameroon? It's in Cameroon this year. Is it? I thought it was in Ivory Coast. So, on, on, Onana's already getting a lot of shit for I disrespecting Cameroon. I think it's in Cameroon. Ivory Coast. I'm pretty sure it's in Cameroon. One of us right, one of us wrong. Anyway. Uh, should we put a pair of Clarks on it? Yeah, or another brand if Clarks don't get in touch. 
Yeah. <laughs> fucking bin them off soon. <laughs> Cheeky bastards. Yeah, should we have a nut then? Go on then. So if Morocco win, I have to buy you a pair. If Senegal win, you have to buy me a pair. And how about? They ain't going to win now because you lot have fucking ruined Amrabat. Come in decent, gone out fucking shite. Anyway, gone out about what? At least he's well rested. Fuck me. What about if the audience guess the winner and it ain't one of them two? What, we'll we'll give him a prize? Yeah. What should we give him? Hmm? Oh, a day in the fucking studio like you like <clears throat> did on the Monday. Imagine that. <laughs> It's different. You could get it? a fucking ripe fruit loot pin. Because <laughs> you lot are as fucked up as us. Imagine that, mate. Get a right crank in there. Day in the studio, if you get it right. Fucking hell. I ain't sitting here. As long as it's UK only, we're not flying you over from fucking Greece or something. <laughs> you get Mars be Manchester based as well, because we ain't paying the train fare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this show ain't sponsored, I don't know if you noticed. Why are we not sponsored anyway? Yeah, there's loads of reasons. Fuck off, I don't <laughs> give a shit anyway. <laughs> it can so, be. I tell you what, when I went... It really you... could be. <laughs> you know, it was weird on holiday. So you we went to a uh, normal gaff, not like a um, sportsman's retreat or whatever. We just kept seeing sportsmen at breakfast every day. Really? Yeah, so like, flew there and then landed in the evening, went to, uh, went to bed. Woke up, Gaz Bow was in at breakfast. Did your football Remember? friend him? Yeah. Um, next day, Tony Bell, you was there. Breakfast. So we're talking like a who's who of who's been on the fucking yeah, pod pretty and then much. about three days later, got up for New Year's Eve, got up for breakfast, and Paul Pogba was in the, in the buffet. My buffet was really <laughs> bizarre. Yeah. So. so when he says, went to a normal gaff, Oh, it was a nice gap, but what I'm saying, it, it was weren't a like... lodge, was it? But what I'm saying is, is there was a lot of... There was just some... It was some weird... It wasn't the sort of gap... It wasn't like no, the Nas Al was, Sheba, was, no, was it, like where Jumeirah, you expect? It was a Jameer. It was nice. I'm not saying it was, like, shithole. It was a fucking lovely hotel. But it's just random to find that many people. Every time you go for breakfast, the next table is someone that you fucking know. Was there awkward nods? Well, not... No, Gaz and Tony are I mates. expect you to Yeah, chat straight to away. Story. And then Pogba was like, mm. and I know the last time I spoke to him was I've shouted some expletives at him probably on the pitch. Yeah, so, but it was fine. <laughs> we spoke, we spoke, yeah, and it was fine. Um, but bizarre, yeah. But other than that, I had a good oldie. Thanks for asking. Is he, anyway. is he out of? Uh, is he out of contract? Is he? Yeah, I missed you too. What? I don't, is he is out he... of contract? Because he got done for drugs, didn't he? Allegedly. Well, no, he's literally banned for drugs. Oh, well, I don't know. I didn't <laughs> like, ask him about that. I didn't ask him. That's why he's how's in the fucking croissant? hotel having a buffet. How's your cross on? And how, how are the drugs going? How's the drug thing going? <laughs> how's the drug problem going? I didn't ask him that at all. He said he'd come from Dubai cause for New Year's Eve. That's all I know. Did um, you become mates with Bellew by playing at Evan? Yeah, because he used to just fucking walk around the place and jump Did in it? a fucking uh, ice bath. When I, I remember my first time seeing him. And I, for some reason, I was inside. On my own, I don't know if maybe I got a knock or I don't know, it was something and I got put, sent in or something. And I was just in the dressing room, and then he just walked in and then got in the ice, just took his gear off and got in the ice bath. And I was like, that's Tony Bell. <laughs> and he just he fucking plunged the whole thing in as well, went fully submerged. And then he said, all right, and then we had a conversation. And I couldn't get over the fact that he'd got in it, which I'd never got in it in the two years that I was there, and he put his whole head in it. <laughs> and he's sound, and we've been sound since. Are you doing the ice baths now? Yeah, a bit, a little bit. Oh, well, gone off it again. Yeah, mine's, me, mine's my, my, mine's in you, my garden, so absolutely not, not at the moment. We all enjoyed when you stopped doing them. <laughs> we all enjoyed it, because we didn't like them pictures you were sending close up to your face, freezing your nuts off and that. Yeah, but or, it's January. I mean, it's like one degree at ours at the moment as well. I'm not doing that. Fair no, play to these people that are breaking fucking the fucking ice and getting it. What do you mean at yours? Where do you live? Like <clears> Alaska? Go on, ask it. If it's one degree at yours, it's one degree at ours. Well, you know what I mean. Um, what's Bale up to? No, he was on Aldi. Isn't he just permanently on Aldi now? Nah, I think he lives in London. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Didn't really get that far. We spoke about some stuff. We made some plans. To get no, together. you didn't. We fucking did. <laughs> you went, made it plans. It went as far as this, like, let's get everyone back together for something. We went, yeah, all right, sound. Oh, right, so that was the planning. Yeah. Right, yeah. We no, didn't no do your made, planning of, like, time, date and all that shit. But we went, yeah. 
All right, he was sound with, with the fact that I said, I'll get the group chat back up and we'll plan to get together. And he went, so we didn't need all that information that you need. I, I did ask a, uh, for questions and one guy keeps asking one question all the time. That's the fucking crank that's going to end up getting the fucking slot. Yeah, I hope so. He, can kill one because of us. the reason he asks, I think he's, he's upset with something. And I'm going to put it to you right. to answer this guy's question now. Time he wants stamp to it, know. Time stamp it. He wants to know why you had uh, a parade after losing the, the semi final. Oh, uh, I don't really know. It's a valid question, actually. Um, I think just because we it was it was over an overachievement. We had a proper one as well, like we won it. Like let's, the only <laughs> thing missing was, was the trophy. Was winning it. Yeah. Oh, I can respect that. We, we went all day. We was like, right, well, fucking, I don't know. I, I don't know. But you need to ask the people of, of Wales, the fans. It wasn't, we didn't go, oh, please come out. It wasn't 26 of you lot, a couple yeah. of fellas. It was No, but this packed. is this is, the, this is the thing about this. Where was it, fun, Cardiff? Yes, yeah, so this is a funny thing about that. We'd never qualified, have <clears> we? <throat> I might have told you before, we'd never qualified. Then we qualified Bosnia away, landed. So on the landing, lads were going fucking, like getting themselves all sweet and that, because we was going, this is going to go fucking off. The first time we've ever qualified. So like, I swear you're expecting, down, mate, a You're Cardiff expecting the, the waiting at the airport. Yeah, everything. We've got shirts, we've got flags. Landed and there was fucking no one there. <laughs> Not a person, like a geezer walking his dog. So we was like, fuck, maybe like, I don't know, maybe it's like they're at the hotel or something, get to the hotel and just walked in normal. <laughs> Nothing. It was like it didn't ever happen. Right. It was like got it. So, but then when I'm out of the tournament, I don't know, they just said, when we land, there's going to be a lot of people there. And then there was fucking, I don't know, thousands and thousands that just went on all day. And there was all in the stadium and we did a parade around the city centre. Ended up at the stadium where we all got on the microphone and, and they got, we got interviewed in the middle of the pitch. I don't know, but to answer his question, ask the FAW, not fucking me. I don't know. I didn't organise the fucker, but... Well, if the people turned up, then it was wanted, wasn't it, and warranted. It was obviously organised as well, because there was, like, an open-top bus and everything. The whole works like we'd won it, which we hadn't. But I feel like it doesn't take a fucking rocket scientist. Like, Roy Keane would probably say, well, you didn't win it, did you? No, we didn't, Roy. But <laughs> everyone else understands that we'd, uh, we'd done a lot there. So that was that. And I'm pretty sure... Naming. Question by who? Colin McMahon. Not Col. Well, I'm not sure to I'm, answer. I'm fairly certain... Go over it. After Italian night it, which England lost the semi of, they did an open-top bus. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm going to Google no, it. No, I don't think they did. I'm going to look... Because I think they did. We guys are crying and all that. Like. No pause on that. All right, so, yeah, so what's his problem then? They absolutely did. There you go. They melt the shit out of it as well? Yeah. Peter Bears at the front. Big old Coca-Cola bus. So, <clears throat> so we, should we get into questions? What time are we at? I fucking go on forever, we do. I talk nothing. Oh, there's so many football questions. Who's your favourite five? I said, shut up. Why do you think we went to the moon 60 odd years ago as a political stunt, but fucked it off now? Cost. We've, we've covered that. Yeah, in cost. Other it episodes. costs loads. And the price of fuel keeps going up, so it's not getting cheaper. Question. Does Joel put on an act, or is he genuinely that delusional? I think you can answer that, because you spend more time with him. I think he gives it a bit of gravy. So he puts, he puts, I got asked that in the gym this week. So he puts a bit of sauce on his... So you think, whatever his opinion is, he just puts a bit extra on top? So he is that delusional? Really, that would be the answer, wouldn't it? He's an Arsenal fan, so... He's a bit of both. Have you ever met a sensible one? No. Could we just roll our heads out? You nearly played for Arsenal. Yeah, so? You'd have had to deal with them all the time. And do you know what's mad is, at one minute they'd have been calling you fucking um, Ballon d'Or worthy centre-half, and yeah. the next saying you're fucking Stepanos. <laughs> <laughs> That name, they would have been though, wouldn't Pascal they? Pascal Saigon or whatever. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> but they would have been, wouldn't they? You would literally be yo-yoing from uh, he's the best player in the world. What, like part they do with Partey? To Nelson Vivas. Like, literally. There's no middle ground with Arsenal fans. 
Go on then, let's throw some questions <clears> out. <throat> I've just got a lot of They're all from, from J. Uh, for from, Ash, from what's the karaoke moment. bar in Wrexham like? Fucking, I'm going to tell. P.S. I've just moved above it. <laughs> well, above it? Why don't you tell us what the karaoke bar in Wrexham's like? Well, we might come and film there. <laughs> what's your go to on the karaoke? But I couldn't tell last time I did karaoke. What's yours? Love Machine goes aloud. Cock, cock out and all. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not the first time you spoke about getting your dick out? It's like, it might be a thing for you. I think I've got a video of that. No. <laughs> Nobody needs that. Go. What else we got? Just throw football questions. Go on, well, ask me one then. I'm an ex-football player. Ask it now. I don't want to. Just ask the first one there, you see. One just says, what do you think? Just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 he knows now, yeah. <clears throat> oh, I'll be done. No, no, but yeah. So, we can tell that story, actually. I'm fucking walking through the more minding my own business going Cheesecake Factory. You fucking, for the fourth time that they had messaged me something, this time I had to take note, because it said, enjoy Ferrari World. Which I'm not in Ferrari World, but it's linked to the mall, and I can see it about 50 yards there, and I'm like, sly bastard. <laughs> then I think, <laughs> CIA... I've got me, got me, <clears throat> and now you're a cunt because you're working for them. So, so you, so you turned on me at that point. One of my mates is uh, Abu Dhabi military, and I said, and, and he was in uniform, and I said, go tell Ash the government are watching him as a black, just to watch his head melt because it I would have been mad. Would have been. Spinning. It would. How fucking good would that yeah, have been? If, really so, good. if there's a guy. Because I was so off guard and enjoying A guy in uniform, well. which he's definitely got mirrored aviators on. I ain't seen him, but he's definitely wearing mirrored it, it aviators. Was, it was evening, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, so he's definitely, he's probably all black military uniform, mirrored aviators, comes and tells Ash, Oi, Mr. Williams, be careful, the government are watching you. He folds, like, in on himself. And I, I have so much fun, 3,000 miles I'd away. I got myself <laughs> right back to the Jumeirah Hotel and locked the fucking door. <laughs> locked it. So I would have had a, a real good time. Yeah, so don't spoil Shout me. Shout out to Khalid for uh, for, for, for grassing up where Ash Yeah, was. nice Khalid, but I had a belly full of cheesecake factory <laughs> and I was just fucking strolling along and you, you, you ruined it for me. Hot Music says, did Ash ever have an offer from a top six club? If so, how did We talked about the Arsenal one before, haven't we? Was that the only one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Only Arsenal, which we've, dis we've discussed. Um. Would I ever take Ash on a hike? Yes, but not when it's cold. Five says, Ash versus Rio in a boxing fight, who wins? I bang him clean out. But I ain't that bad in the cold. It's just like, I don't choose to. That's the thing. This is where you're getting confused. I, I do all right in a cold hike. I just don't choose to. Does that make sense? If we had to hike the shit out of somewhere in the cold, I wouldn't be like hindering you behind. I'd be fucking right up there. But if you went... Oh, do you want to go? What was that place you hiked at the other day called? A little mountain down the road, about 45 minutes away. You said the name Kinder. of it. Kinder. Kinder yeah. Scout. If you went, fancy Kinder tomorrow, do I fuck? Well, I can stay at home and watch fucking the we, thing that I'm watching on Netflix. We are due snow next week. Um, and I might oh, don't call do... Me. Well, I'm thinking of going doing a wild camp up there in the snow. What, in Kinder? Yeah. Next week. What, for why? Because I want to. We'll stay at home. What the Marty Ducks or something? Fuck it. Alice says, is Ash, he's got this in quotations, a car man? Car? Yeah, I don't know if that means like a boob or a bum man. A mo okay. um, or if so, what's his dream car? Uh, we're not really a car Why man. are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> There's only a shit answers to come out. Do you want to hear it or shall I just leave it? No, do it. Okay, I'm not really a car man, and I've had all my dream cars. Next question. That's a perfectly valid okay, answer. Okay, cool. It? it sounded a bit shitty when in mad. You not got? Did you have a car growing up where you went? Oh, when I get older, I really want that. Which right? If you you could go and buy it like a brand, yeah. Like Lamborghini. Just I wanted like, that, that. If I had a Lamborghini, <clears> like I'm fucking, I've conquered the world. But is it not like a, a like a what you would consider like a pretty naff car, like a fucking Escort Cosmo nah, or something? Nah, nah, something nah. Something that'd be proper shit now. Nah, nah, but like, I weren't, I weren't ever into, I weren't, the, I weren't like a boy racer type. Would you? Like a Nova or something. 
No, I like cars. I've just never had the fucking dough to go absolutely bananas with them. Because that's the car. problem, isn't it? I don't think we have long enough left to talk <clears throat> about your car situation. That's a whole show on its own. Well, we've just released well, a video. I should say that, because... We haven't decided on which one it is yet, in case you was going to spoil the relay. Okay, cool. Um, who's the most exciting talent in English football? Kobe Menu. next. <sighs> I like them. Read them out. Um, why did United never come in for Ash in his prime? Because we went with fucking Chris Smalling instead. So much aggression on that. I picked him. <laughs> We've already discussed that, haven't we? I fucking... I replaced Smalling with him. Useless you fuck. I was going to go, oh, you nearly killed him. Fuck off. It was... There was a fucking... Someone... About four people sent me that code and it's like 11 years ago today or some shit this week. And I watched it back and just thought, where was Fergie's melon at there? <laughs> What's he thinking? That with that... Did we lose that game? Yeah. There's where his melons are. All right, but don't blame me. But that's how he does it, isn't it? That's the move. United don't lose games. So when we do... That ref well, was atrocious. I was trying to kill Van Persie. That's the game. You've got to respect the game. Well, you're scrolling past too many. Yeah, because the bollocks. Give it to me. Thoughts on Conspiracy 58. We've covered it. We Give think it it's me. a load of old ass. Do you know what they do? Don't These... want to talk about that one, do we? <laughs> Why not? Because we don't talk about it. Don't want to. How much does Sancho fetch in the summer? Who gives a fuck? See? What's the point in asking you? All right, tell him to come with some good questions then. <laughs> right, we'll see if it's only on X. Is X going to give it to us? Poor. Would you go on Celebrity SAS Who Dares Wins? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't have you for it, but I've, they've obviously been me. Did you? Yeah. Wait. Rewind. When? Um, about two years <clears throat> ago or something. Was that the one Belt you was on? No, it was after that. Um, Kieran Dyer was, was before that one. So I don't know where we're at with the seasons or whatever. Um... No, no, but I, I think I've got a shit still. I'd be boring again, wouldn't I? That's the problem. This is my problem. Like, what are you going to do? Film me just going, all right? Just doing it. Just going, <clears> yeah, <throat> like, oh, uh, we've got to do this and just, I'll just do it. Yeah, you you got... That's shit TV, you, innit? To add the drama into it, you've got to crumble a little bit, haven't you? Or well, well, overcome you something. you cry and do jazz hands? Yeah. It's never going to happen. Yeah. So but that's what I think, like, it's never going to happen for me. And I don't want really want it to. <clears throat> the only reason I said I don't want to do none of that shit, but that one seems quite interesting. So I was like, oh, I'll do the interview, which went, and they kept saying, like, um, you know, into your childhood, uh, uh, any, any, like, trauma, nah. Any, See, because that's what we... they want to know, isn't oh, it? Do that's what they make something up, though. Like, what are they going to, what, what buttons are they going to, the only thing they had was, they was like, the only thing that got them going a little bit was like, we, we feel like, if they pushed your buttons, would you react? And I was like, yeah. And then they... they went, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what would you do if you felt like someone was getting bullied on the show? Them kind of questions. So they know they'd ad they had me on the, like, <clears throat> short temper. But when they're, when they're deep diving into fucking what happened to me as a child, nothing. It was I, sad, I had, like, a that bang bad. average child it was, cheers. It was, yeah, it was all right. <laughs> nothing. So they didn't See, got... It's the alien ones that we need, isn't it? The what? Alien ones that we need. How we? How is someone not asking us to go to like Skinwalker Ranch? I have fucking no idea. We are right at that. Well, where's what? Where's? Should we do a haunted one? What? Haunted house. With Zerich No, we've got. We've covered this, haven't is we? Is he even? I was gonna say, is he alive? Is he alive? I don't know. Yeah, well, that's like you hesitating on that. Like that's the worst thing you've said today. But um, do I hesitated on it? Because half of me went. Imagine he's a ghost. The irony. <laughs> and he's a South Coast. Imagine fuck, you come fuck back Fucking boo, lad. Give <laughs> <laughs> <Is them> Sadie's. <laughs> <laughs> fucking get out of my house, lad. I'll fucking rattle them. Give them fucking that, change. That'd be mad, that would be mad, How mad would that yeah, be? Why are you always like, goes... like posh? Why you can't are... it be like fucking boo? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't it be? And how ironic is that Derek Okora spent his whole life pretending he's hearing fucking ghosts in a basement and became one? Like, that, you can't tell me that's not brilliant, because that's brilliant. Because uh, the realisation is like, oh, so I'm the ghost. Fuck is it a film about that? Ghost? I mean, that's about that. A ghost? With the what's it called fella? What's his name? Patrick Swayze. Yeah. Shabon. Does he not know he's not a ghost? He don't think he's a ghost, but he is a ghost. 
Yeah, but he wasn't a well, ghost. Well, she don't think he's a ghost. He wasn't a ghost hunter in real life, was he? Isn't it Brad Pitt or something I'm thinking of? No, it's Patrick Swayze. So what's the film then where there's like a couple, one of them's a ghost? Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis? Six Sense. Not that one, it's like a, um, it's a couple, it's a man and a woman, and one's a ghost, but someone don't know they're, like either he don't know he's a ghost or she don't know he's a ghost, so they're in love. Obviously, I didn't watch it because no, nothing got blown up, but whatever. Uh, Google that for us. Someone let us know what the film that is. I think it's called Ghost. Have you seen Ghost? I've seen Ghost, but it's not wrong. So what happens in that, then? Um, pottery making. <laughs> that one. Make pottery and bang, I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, that sounds shit. What, what, about the, what about the Brad Pitt one? Is he not in a ghost one? Is he plays a ghost in something? He plays, Fucking hell. he plays death in Meet Joe Black, don't he? That's what I'm talking about. Don't he fall in love with someone or something? Yeah, but he's not a is ghost. Is he a ghost? No, he's death. Yeah, it's the same thing. He's the Grim Reaper. What, so now you categorise ghosts? What? He's not what? a ghost, is he? Yeah, but what I mean, well, it's just it's a different type, thing. Ghost, Grim Reaper. Ghosts are dead, death. Are, are you to determine the pronoun of a fucking dead person? Yeah, you're right. My bad. I apologise. Okay. Unreservedly. And I'll, <laughs> I'll take some time out. I'll think about it and I'll do better. Take about six days till we do it again next week. No. Um, what was I going to say? Where, where did we go? Where did Bruce film? Willis, what film was that? Sixth Sense? Sixth Sense. Is that where he breaks all his bones? No, nope, that's unbroken. Fucking unbreakable. Was. Oh, well, the one with the little boy? Yeah, no, the one with the little boy is Sixth Sense. What happens in that then? Is the little boy a ghost? No, the little boy can see the ghost. And Bruce is the ghost? Yeah, and he goes... Imagine the, Bruce is the ghost. The ghost don't know that the ghost. Is that what happens in that one? Yeah, and he's, basically t- he's basically telling him all the way through the film, you're a fucking ghost, bro. And he's like... <laughs> He's, uh, he's investigating a murderer or something like that, and I well, see no, ages. You've lost me, right? Give me the film review, right? So there's a little boy, and Bruce Willis is a ghost, and he's telling the boy, I'm a ghost. No. So oh. Bruce Willis dies, but they don't show you that. You, I think what it comes into, is he a cop? I was scared like of this film as a kid. Yeah, he's a cop or some shit like that, Bruce Willis. And he's investigating some shit. And he just keeps running into this little fucking kid all the time, right? And then this little kid... Tells him, I can see ghosts. And he's basically putting it on the table for him, like, yo, you know. I can see you. Not so much no more. You and the breathing and that. And, uh, and Bruce Willis finds out, like, right, it's like, it's M. Night Shyamalan, isn't it, right? So it's right at the fucking very end. And he's like, basically, you're the ghost. I think I'll have to watch it. I might have to watch it. Is yeah, I might decent? have to watch it again. It is, it's, it's a good film. It's a good film. Why can't we do one of them episodes where... We're watching the film, and me and you are in the like corner reacting to it. You do it the other way around, where the, the film's done okay, smaller. Okay, but I don't know the technicalities of all this shit. But what, what are you doing? We do that. Should we do that? Should we do it next week? Six cents. Well, should, should that be the episode? Is us just reacting to it? We cut it down into like I twenty minutes. It'd be as fucking good or boring and shit <laughs> as this one is, so we can't lose right now. Or, 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 or anything from the Nicolas Cage anthology. No, because you'll get all angry and everything. It's good content, though. What about the one where he breaks bones, or Samuel L. breaks bones? One so, of yeah, the two. So, yeah, so they're at the extreme end. Oh, I know. Yeah. They got that one, and the, then they did the one with the multiple personalities, and that's linked onto it, isn't it? Split. That's a good film. James McAvoy. That's a good film. Have you seen that one? Do you ever feel like that? Do I ever feel like transforming into another being that's 20 times stronger than a human? Not that bit at the end, which it got silly and ruined the whole fucking thing. It did film. get a bit silly, didn't it? But do you ever feel like... Patricia? Do I ever like... feel like Patricia? No, 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 not like that. Not so, not so much, <laughs> but I mean... It's funny, because I did some training for, for BBC on Monday or Tuesday online. So, you like, go through your clips and then talk about where you could have answered it better and how it could have been better. And then it's like, be, but obviously, but be yourself. And I'm like, yeah, the guy, he's called, cool, like, done those sessions. And I'm like, but you know. So basically, he showed the clip where I'm downstairs talking about my Harry Maguire. And then they're like, can we get a bit more of this? Did I'm they like, put this on? They put that clip on. And I'm like, how, how do you want me to get there in like 17 seconds about Mudrick, who missed two chances on the weekend? Uh, it doesn't happen, do you know what I mean? Like, I could probably get there now about something that I actually give a fuck about, but if I don't, how do I want to get there without acting? Which you accused Joel of about 15 minutes ago. No, just graving it. So the guy's saying... Well, he doesn't you... act, I think he believes what he says. He just 
no, grave is sprinkled. It? But so the guys, but I'm like, well, listen, he's like, be yourself. And in my head, what I was thinking was, you just I'm went so, straight back in. So didn't many you? personalities, mate. I don't know which <laughs> one you want. I don't know which one. You can have the fucking emo ash. You can have the fucking yardy. You can have the fucking angry one, the chilled out one, or just the general don't really give a fuck one. Do you know what? In terms of like, I'm I'm happy for people out there being themselves, except for one. Oh no, we're gonna offend someone now. Storage. <laughs> what you meant a group of people? So he's not allowed to be himself. The the TV's not ready for him yet. So you're saying he's ahead of his time? He might be ahead of his time or he might just be mental. I don't know which one it is yet. Because he's... I mean, have you seen... He's definitely been himself because we clocked him a couple of years ago on YouTube doing what he's doing on Sky. So he's, he is authentically being him. It's just... Seems like a lot of effort. Oh, it's definitely effort. All that. I, but it just makes me laugh that... They decide they, they put him and Micah Richards, who are both a little bit larger than life in how they are personality wise, always with Roy Keane. Well, it's obviously the play, isn't it? And, and I understand it's cast like that because Roy Keane is generally a bit more understated in, in how he is. So, what would you think? What's the play on putting me and Stephen Warnock on a Saturday afternoon? You don't want me to answer that question. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Stephen Warnock and the BBC don't want me to answer that question. And five probably don't want me to answer that question. <laughs> do you know he does the ref thing like on a Monday morning? The yeah, VAR? of course he fucking does. But he, did, he argues against it. He's on with Dermot Gallagher, though. And honestly, Dermot Gallagher needs his head launching through that fucking TV screen. Make a fucking decision, honestly. Just comes out and talks absolute wibble. It's a foul. It's not a foul. It just goes it on the opposite of reality. It is fucking shit, isn't it, at the minute? Let's be honest. It gives a fuck. What the... Fuck. You know the games, the cup games with no VAR on that? It's so much better. It, like, who's saying it's better now? But In fact, never going away, it? Was, was had a case for it being better. But the other day at, at work. But, like, no. It doesn't work, does it? Just call, blow the whistle and... Here's the thing. If you get it wrong, you You've get it You've got wrong. extreme accuracy-ish because it's still interpretation. But you've got extreme accuracy in the box. Extreme accuracy-ish <laughs> is an oxymoron, but carry on. Because it's still someone's interpretation, but they, they slow it down, they hit it with seven different angles to come up with what they consider is an accurate thing. But the throw-in before it went in the box was wrong. True. So we just spin it off. And also, we did say we're never going to speak about VAR on this, so I apologise to everyone out there. We, I'll just say this shouldn't. on the last word of it. If you kill the celebration of goals, you kill the game. Because we live for that moment. We live for that Robbie Fowler celebration. Well, the, the, the ball in the back of the net and whatever happens after that, the limage after that is... Did he get, did he get like a fine after Big that? time, yeah. Did he? Did he get a ban? I think it was just a fine. So, Matt, why, why did he do that? Was there like rumours of I, that I think something? he... Was he reacting was, to something? Yeah, I think there was either, he was either called a cokehead... Oh, they it's were a fucking rumors. mad celebration, that, isn't it? So, yeah, you, you score a goal. It might, it might have been his hat trick, actually. He might have bagged hat tricks. He, he, he liked a hat trick, Robbie Fowler, didn't he's he? A fucking player. Do you, do you like him? Do you, think, do you agree that he. Oh, here we go. He's got a theory on it. Was Are he, you going to talk about when he said, I'm better than Michael Owen? Nah. Because well, we can he's, if you want. He's, he's just been on a podcast. That. I've seen he? that, yep. I don't disagree with a word he said. He said Michael Owen was faster than me, but all the other aspects of striking, I was better, and I went. See, yeah. Yeah. So he gets the. I was trying to think the other day. Who, who's He's played for Liverpool City and Leeds? I meant to who hate Who did him. you say was super mega double safe? Super mega double safe. Yeah, remember that the other day? Super double mega safe. You mean? It's something like yeah. Was it Joel? What? Joelian. Yeah, yeah. Was it him that yeah. was super? Was it super mega super double, double mega sound. safe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he you is like, a chill guy. So you like Robbie Fowler as well? No, it's funny, isn't it? I, I think you. I agree that he was a better player than Michael Owen. Would you put him in the top ten Premier League strikers? Oh, I know, I know. This is difficult, and we said we don't like it. But are you going to put him in the realm of it? You are, you are, because you're thinking about it. So you haven't dismissed him instantly. No, I don't think he's an instant. You dismissal. haven't dismissed I think him on a technical level. He's probably bang up there, yeah. 
Because what? So what's you're talking like your top yeah, tier? Yeah, I know. Ever. We, we, we said your Henri's, your Shearer's, your, your Van Nistelrooy's, your Henri's. Van Gogh. Yeah, uh, Cole Van Gogh, obviously. Um, yeah, it's gotta be. Dwight York. Dwight York's a fucking mad interesting one, man. Twenty nine goals, twenty assists in the treble season. Didn't win Player of the Year. So why did you prank FaceTime call him there? Funny. Why was he in that room with no shirt on? It's <laughs> fucking weird. That, you're sitting there going, why do we prank call Dwight York? That episode didn't go out. All right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was that our first one where we was just off the chain? Yeah, that episode never went out. Fucking <laughs> easy. So yeah, we time. prank called Dwight York. And he answered it with no shirt on, just in a room in fucking Trinidad and Tobago, so confused about what was going on. But he was hiding his face, weren't he? He was like, it was like half of his head was on the shot, and he was going, "Who's like, this?" Because he was like, "Who the fuck are these two clowns?" <laughs> he, and then he hung uh, up and definitely went fucking. Do you, block. Do you know what makes me laugh? Is they said they give us the show, and then they went, "Oh, like be more free, speak." So we fucking spoke, and then they went, "Whoa, that's that not, that's not going out." <laughs> <laughs> so what do you mean? I don't, I don't know, now I don't know what they fucking want. Do you know what's funny? I better say this, right? So, me and Ronnie have got the same barber now, yeah? But my old barber, a Jamaican guy who lived in Manchester when I first come, he used to say, <laughs> he used to say, like, he'd cut, I got the number off Rio, yeah? So he'd cut uh, my hair all the time, like once a week, whatever, and he'd be like, Rio's obviously Illuminati, yeah? So I'm like, like <laughs> I don't know. I don't think what, he is. Wait, that's what the Bible was saying. Yeah, he'd be like, oh, obviously, like, Rio's the Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I don't think he there's is. There's your headline. There's your title, by the way. Rio we've is the Illuminati. Had that, we've had that exact fucking thing. Have we? I think so. Anyway, so then he was like, Danny Welbeck is, because I've seen the letter. He got a letter, right? So I was like, fuck off, Chris. I don't think they send letters. And if he did, I don't think Danny Welbeck, they'd send it to him. And also, I don't think he'd just let, leave it lying around on the kitchen table, right? So then he From was, the Illuminati. Yeah, and then he was like, you, and then he was like, <laughs> you probably are. So he used to go like, he never knew if I was or wasn't. And I'd go like, well, if I was, I'd fucking, I'd, I'd be doing a bit more than I am. And he was like, well, you'd never admit it anyway. We've got a friend, one of Janine's friends is a Mason, and um, they've never asked us to go or anything along those lines on it. But I just think, what is all that shit about? Weird, isn't it? Because I get that they, they. They make you do something humiliating, don't they, I think? And then film it. And then that's, that's kind the, of you in the club, sort of thing. Which probably rumor. gets worse and worse and worse as you go up through the degrees. Because people have filmed, like, that first, sort of, them first couple of stages. Have like, they? Yeah, they, they, they've been leaked. Like, you can find them on YouTube. Like, initiation ceremonies, like and masons and stuff. So, what? They make them, like, fucking roll one leg of the trousers up and hop on one leg. Just make them just do... Oh, terrible uh, shit, that. But it's Wild. just stupid, isn't it? And, and but I imagine that. by the time you get to like level twelve, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, we've got an hour and a half in, and I think we've got maybe forty minutes worth of footage. <laughs> I was gonna say that, you know, we're not gonna lock gonna come out of it. No, Should we wrap it up? Yeah, might as well. But what? Can we just get your mate from the Freemasons in? Probably not. Are we wrapping it? I think we should. Okay, so before we wrap the show, however long comes out of this, I want to let you know that. We filmed for an hour and a half because it was the first one of the year, and we forgot fucking the rules. I, the over under, if it being an hour, might be fucking nuts, you know. We've definitely filmed for an hour and a half, so whatever comes out. What's we, the exact time on your thing, there, Janine? One hour twenty-eight. One hour twenty-eight. We filmed for, but we we got a bit we got a bit wild. There's going to be some cuts. Um, okay, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. See you next week. Maybe. If you cut it fucking well. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>